When my mother used to bake, I would run to the kitchen and watch her. She would not let me help at all, but I was fascinated with the way she seemed to instinctively know what to do, what to add, or when to take things out of the oven. One of her specialties was pineapple upside down cake. Not only its flavor but how stunning it looked once finished drew me to it. For years I could not reproduce it. The most challenging part, in my opinion, was knowing when to flip pineapple upside down cake. I worked on it and today I bring you an amazing recipe together with some tips on how to do it successfully. This recipe will make one 9 inch cake that will serve from 8 to 10 depending on how thick you cut the slices. I would say it feeds 4 because everyone will want seconds. It will take you 1 hour and a half to make. You will also need a 9 inch pan, a small frying pan, an offset spatula apart from a stand or hand electric mixer, and a few large and medium bowls. Let's get cracking. The easiest and best pineapple upside down cake recipe. Ingredients for the topping. Cooking spray. 4 tablespoons of unsalted butter. Half cup of lightly packed brown sugar. 1 8 ounce can of pineapple rings and pineapple juice. 8 to 10 maraschino cherries. For the cake. 1 and a half cups of all-purpose flour. 1 teaspoon of baking powder. 1 quarter teaspoon of salt. 1 cup of granulated sugar. 1 stick of room temperature unsalted butter. 2 large eggs. How to make it. Step 1. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Fit it with a rack in the middle. While that is going, grease a 9-inch cake pan with cooking spray and set it aside. Step 2. Using a small frying pan over medium heat melt the butter and sugar for the topping. Stir it frequently until combined and once the mix becomes bubbly and slightly brownish, it is done. Step 3. This mix should be spread in the cake pan until it has an even layer on top of it. Let it cool for a moment before proceeding. Step 4. Open the pineapple can and reserve half cup of the juice to use in the batter. Take the rings out and, after placing one ring in the center, place as many as you can around it. Make it symmetrical and pleasing, remember you will not be able to modify their position once it is baked. Place one maraschino cherry in the center of each ring. If you do not like them, skip this step. Set the pan aside while you mix the batter. Step 5. Grab a large bowl and combine the dry ingredients. Set it aside. Step 6. Using a stand or hand mixer, cream the butter and sugar together until it is nice and fluffy. It will take about 5 minutes at high speed. Add the eggs and continue beating until the mix is smooth. Step 7. Using a sifter, add the dry ingredients in 3 batches. You should alternate it with one third of the pineapple juice. In between, incorporate everything well. Do not add anything else until everything is well combined. Do this at a low speed so as not to cover yourself with flour. Mix for another minute at high speed. Step 8. Pour the batter over the pineapple. It is a thick one, so do not worry if it does not fall so easily. You can always use a big spoon and place it on top of the fruit. Spread it with an offset spatula and tap it to get rid of unnecessary bubbles. Step 9. Place the cake in the oven and bake for 45 minutes. It should be golden brown and a cake tester should come out clean from the middle. Step 10. Let it cool for 10 minutes on a rack, put a plate on top of the pan and flip it. It is ready to serve. How to successfully flip a pineapple upside down cake. Tip 1. Do not let it sit for too long after you have taken it out of the oven. If it cools down too much, then you will not be able to remove the cake from the pan. Use gloves to grab the pan if it is too hot to handle, but do not let the caramel harden. If this happens, you could always put the pan over some hot water to melt the caramel down again. Place the pan over a pot with boiling water and wait 5 minutes. This will soften it up enough so that you can flip it. Tip 2. Use a non-stick cake pan. Apart from the cooking spray, this will aid in not allowing the caramel to stick to the pan. Tip 3. 
You can also use a springform pan. This will still not help if the caramel has stuck to the bottom of the pan, but it can help you avoid flipping the cake onto a plate if you do not feel comfortable doing that. Tip 4. If you are going to flip it, you should pick a low plate or cake stand. Remember to run an offset spatula between the sides of the cake and the pan to release it. Tip 5. Let the cake drop slowly by the action of gravity. Do not try to rush it. If you bang the pan, you might break the cake and all your effort will be ruined. Tip 6. If any pineapples or cherries have moved, you can always nudge them back where they belong. Do it while the caramel is still warm. If you liked this video don't forget to like and subscribe.